Hey guys, it's been a long time. Um, you know, life happens and to me family comes first. So that's been the reason for my disappearance for like a few months. <laughs> you just sit here with me please. As I'm sure you can read though, I have a tutorial today on how to make the classic bow. And I didn't like this style, this look at first, but I've really been loving it. And I've made many. So there's that one and these ones are unfinished but they, they're really cute for pigtail sets and I've been loving those for my girls so I'm gonna show you how to make that now you do need a template for this if I can figure out a way that you don't need one I'm sure there is I just haven't tried it yet I will be sure to make a video for that because I know everybody doesn't have these templates but they come in the brilliant bow maker kit uh, the ultimate one you can get it at Hobby Lobby for $30 if you use your 40% off coupon which they always have it's on Amazon also, I got it for $30 there too, so it's about the same price, um, plus shipping I guess if you don't have Prime. Um, and it comes with the amazing snap templates for your Twisted Boutique bows. So you guys, if you would like to change your bow game for life, get this box, get this, get this kit. It is amazing, I promise. It is, oh, it's amazing. So anyways, um, I won't blabber too long, uh, let's just get into the video. I hope you enjoy. Hey guys, so here's my piece of one and a half inch width ribbon and it's cut to 24 inches long and I'm going to be using the XL template and it actually tells you how many inches of ribbon that you need to cut on here. So that's nice. Um, also, I don't have the sewing method down for the center yet. So I've just been using my crochet cotton I got at Hobby Lobby and I just tie off in the center and I've yet to have a bow break. Obviously sewing in and out, up and down through the ribbon is more secure but I mean like I said I've yet to have one break so when I figure out how to sew it I'll let you guys know so you take your piece and you fold it in half you can choose to do the V cut you can leave them um, straight you can do like a little angled cut whatever you like and you find your crease right here you take the crease and you line it up with this black line here tuck it under the arms here Line it up, and it doesn't matter which way you start from. I'm going to start from the left, and I'm going to wrap it around, down, over top this little notch here. Just like this, and I'll fold it back so that it's under the arm. Now, I usually clip it with my, so my little, whatever they're called. What are these called? Alligator clips, duh. All right, okay, now it comes to the right side, and you do the same thing you did to the left, except when you wrap it and take it behind the template, it's gonna come up behind the bottom one. You see that, one here and one there, so that your spikes end up looking like this. All right, now, like I said, I don't sew. If you know how to do that, then I would suggest you do that right now. And I'm just gonna wrap it around it. I go through the front like this, shove it down there and I bring it over to the back and you should see it coming down here alright now it's come through the back here I'm make sure my bow is pulled tight here alright now I bring it through the back and underneath it and over top and now what I do is I tie it in the front a little bit the front of the template I'm going to start tightening it a little bit. Tighten, tighten. And when you feel like you're at a good point, you can take these off. And what I do now is I slide the ribbon off of the little arms here. Okay, and now I tighten a little bit more. And I kind of grab it in the middle now. And I take the template out. Yeah, this ribbon's really stiff. <laughs> It'll hold its shape well, but as far as creasing, sometimes it's harder to do it. All right, now you just end up, you know, tightening it and then just tie it off in the back. Okay, now you have your classic bow. And if you need to, just kind of 
pull pull your spike out like one of mine is not even for some reason but just play around with it until you get it how you like it I do not particularly like this ribbon that I'm working with okay so I have some 3 8 inch pink ribbon to put around the center and to wrap my clip with Got your clip. Now, take whatever center you want. I just cut a little piece off. I usually glue my clip on first. All right, now to get the center piece on, I just place a dab of glue on the lined part of the clip here. And I stick my little piece under there press down so it looks like that just wrap it around and I like to pull tight make sure it's all secure and tight in there then I just put another dot of glue right on top there and I pull the other side through clip your excess and heat seal when I heat seal I like to press it down real quick so it kind of joins bonds to the other piece of ribbon there and now you have a cute little classic bow. So that's it you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know I'm a little rusty at it and I'm hoping to make a lot more on a more regular routine like I used to be doing. Let me know what you guys wanna see in the comments below. I don't know what, I don't know what else to say y'all. I've really missed making videos, I really have. It's taken me a while to get back into it. Um, I don't know why, you know, like when you get out of it, when you get out of your groove, it's kind of hard to get back in. That's the way it's been for me, but hoping to, to make them on the regular now. I already said that. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video.